So this was all developed at Harvard University by a chemist, George Whitesides. He's one of the world's most renowned chemists. And that's why the solution is so different. A roboticist would never make a robot out of rubbers and plastics because they're unpredictable. Roboticists like to build solutions where you have motors and metal and so you know when the robot moves forward where it's going. Rubbers and plastics being unpredictable would at first seem to be a problem, but actually in our application they're not. Because what ends up happening is when you inflate them, they naturally find the grip all by themselves from good mechanical design, from good material selection. So now all these worries a roboticist would have about good computation for finding grasp acquisition, they all go away. We have open loop systems in order to be able to get complex grass targets. Normally, if you're building adaptive robotic solutions, what you would have is a vision system, maybe a 3D vision system, an object library that it recognizes that those objects from, planning to figure out where on that object you should put your fingers, and then all this other software that figures how to get to the object. Because we are letting the mechanical design and the physics of the fingers do all the work for you, we do none of that computation. So this is just a simple mechanical structure, no sensors whatsoever, and it is able to get a more diverse range of objects than a complex robotic gripper.